Okay, let's spread our toes out, hip width apart, city bones toward the floor, ribs in and up, and shoulders back and down. Relax your arms. Take a moment getting focused inward for your yoga perspective, and we'll do our warm-ups. Inhale, arms to shoulder level, stretch those fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart, keep the elbows up and out to the front, and clasp your hands behind you. Press the hands down and lift your heart, stretch your head back, feel that chest expand. And then exhale over as deeply as you'd like. <clears throat> Spread your toes, lift your arms, move your chin around, make sure your neck isn't tight. And don't forget to breathe. Lift the sitting bones and then bend the knees, drop the sitting bones and wind from the bottom of the spine all the way up and into a back bend, lifting your heart. Stretch your head back, spread your toes, drop your shoulders, and breathe. And then inhale, coming up, and release into mountain pose. Take a moment, just feel the circulation increase a little bit. And again, arms and shoulder level, <clears throat> hands to your heart, stretch to the front, keep those shoulders down, and then clasp your hands behind you. Press them to the floor as you lift your heart, stretch your head back, spread your toes out. And again, pivot at the hips, come on over. And just deepen maybe a little bit more this time. <clears throat> Chin in slightly toward your chest, toward your legs. Move your neck around, move your hands toward your head, keep those shoulders releasing. And then slowly again, wind up from the bottom of your spine all the way to the top. Stretch your head back as you spread your toes and lift your heart. You gotta feel the upper body in your back bend. Make sure you're not overworking that low back. Inhale, upright, and again, release into mountain pose. Keep that core active, so ribs toward your spine and up, and we'll do our side stretches. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands over your shoulders. Clasp them, bring your arms back by your ears. Keep the shoulders facing the front along with your hips and lean over to the side. Make sure you're not leaning forward. Push the foot you're leaning away from down for that extra opening through the ribs. Keep breathing. Inhale upright, switch your arms, keep your shoulders down. And again, arms by your ears and everything straight as you lean to the opposite side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down, out through the head and your hands, and make sure your shoulder doesn't lean forward. And then inhale back upright, shoulders are down, bring your arms out, and back into mountain pose. Feel your sides a little bit more open after that lateral motion to your spine. So we've got only our twist to go. So stretch your spine apart for the twist. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands over your shoulders, clasp your elbows, spread your toes, stretch your spine, and turn for a twist. Take a breath, and as you exhale, come on over. So just deepen as far as you'd like to go, spreading your toes, lifting your sitting bones, keeping your arms by your ears. And with the weight still on both feet, work your way up in the twist. So remember, only upper body for your back bend when you're twisting, so don't get overdone in that low back. Arms still by your ears, pushing back through your elbows and head, lifting your foot, dropping your shoulders. Take a breath. And then on an inhalation, come on up. Exhale around to the center and switch your arms around, balance things out. And again, arms by your ears and spine stretching open as you turn to the other side. Take a breath. Exhale over. And just deepen as much as you'd like. Relax. Lift your center bones. Keep your arms by your ears. And just deepen into that position as much as you like. 
And when you're ready to come up, just breathe in all the way and you twist into that upper body for your back. Chest high, shoulders down. Keep breathing, elbows back. Even if they're not fresher in your low back. And inhale upright, exhale around to the center. Bring your arms up, but not your shoulders. And stretch out through your toes. Take a moment there and extend your mountain, feeling your body. Keep your arms by your ears, and we'll pivot forward. So just come pedaling at your hips, and get your spine as parallel to the floor as you can, stretch it out. And then drop into ragdoll, just head. Take a moment to breathe, lift your sitting bones, get the back of your legs a little more stretched. And then, then one more roll up, just starting at the bottom of your spine and moving one bone at a time back up into mountain pose. Shoulders back and down, core active, ground toward the ceiling. Take a moment, breathing. And let's try our balance pose. So pick your balance foot, spread the toes out. So the ball of the foot, base of the toe area, all the way across is connected, but not the toes. So lift the toes up slightly. Heel also is evenly sinking down. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up. Keep that core active. So loose towards your spine and foot, and shoulders back and down. Sink into that grounded foot. And bring the other one up a little, or more, or toward your head. Take a moment there, getting stable, and then if that's good, circle your ankle. Flex and point before you put it down, to straighten it out, and bring it back to the floor. Take what worked, move it to the other side. Always balancing things evenly in yoga. And lift the toes, get the whole bottom of the foot connected, check your alignment and your core. Shoulders are back and down, relaxing, and you're ready to lift the other foot. And again, just bring it straight up, not crossing up across. And when you're stable, go ahead and work that ankle as much as it wants to. And again, flex and point before you put it down. Sink evenly into both feet and bring your hands to your heart. Look at your hands, keep the shoulders relaxed and roll the hands toward the ceiling and the back bend, looking at your thumbs as you pull the hands behind you. Exhale, hands to your heart, just pivot on over and then again, let that spine release a little bit. Hands up under your knees on your shins, halfway up stretch. Elbows, knees, and spine straight, spreading your toes. Exhale back down. Lift your sitting bones, kind of straighten your knees. Bring your arms at T position out from your shoulders to the sides. And then pivot up, keeping those arms at shoulder level. Palms toward the ceiling. Look up. Palms together, another little back bend. Exhale, hands to your heart and back into mountain pose. As you get there, just take a moment, feeling your circulation a little bit more activated. And let's step down. So let's do a triangle first. So remember the inseam from the top of your thigh to the bottom of your ankle joint and the distance between your ankles can be about the same or a little bit closer. If you have a problem with them trying to think, trying to spread apart, remember you can turn those toes slightly in, but not too much. Sitting bones toward the floor, hips open, shoulders to the front, and bring your arms to shoulder level. Stretch out and up through the crown, star position. And then turn your foot to the side, but not your hips. So you want to pull that back hip forward, keep it facing where you were. Heel back, toes forward on that front foot so the knee and toes stay aligned. And you get good support through both feet. So spread the toes out. Pivot here at the front hip and push to the front. 
The more you push, the further you pivot in the triangle. Palms to the front and pivot one hand down, the other one straight above. The hand that goes down, you can reach the floor of your foot if you want, but you don't have to. And you're not putting support on that hand anyway. So the hand in the air is just stretching up and the one going down is stretching down and the side of your body is nice and open toward the ceiling. Stretch out through your head, keep the hips and shoulders facing the same side of your mat. Take a breath, stretch it out. If you want a little more chest opening, bend your elbow and bring that upper hand down toward your head. Stretch out through your head. Sink evenly into your feet. Remember the back foot has as much weight as the front one, even though you're pivoted toward the front. And then if you move your arm, bring it back straight up and use that hand to pull you back into your star position, feet to the front, arms out at shoulder level. And let's release for a moment. So again, reposition if you need to, and we'll do that opposite side. So again, spread your toes, hips open, shoulders open, arms at shoulder level. Feel your star, feel like you're energizing out from your heart in all directions. And then turn your foot, but not your hips. And then heel back, toes forward to sink evenly into that back hip as well, or back foot as well. And then hip joint it is your focus as you push to the side. Keep those shoulders facing the front and the hips, palms to the front as well. And again, just pivot, one hand down, the other one opposite. Head stretching to the side, stretching those arms at court. <clears throat> Sink evenly into your feet, spreading your toes. Make sure you're not gripping anything. And if you like that chest opening, bring your hand down toward your bottom hip. Keep the hips facing the side as well as your shoulders. Stretch the head toward the end of the neck. Keep the hip going back. Keep breathing. So many things to remember. If you got your hand down, go ahead, bring it back up right across from the other one. Remember, there's no pressure in the hand on the way or the floor or wherever it goes. And then again, pivot up, palms toward the floor and feet to the front into your star position. Take a breath, stretch it out, shoulder, shoulder blades down, grand high, and release your arms. Take a breath or two, spreading your toes. And okay, let's do a warrior two since we're in this position already. So keep the hips and shoulders to the front, so evenly into your feet. Remember, when we go into the warrior and we bend the knee to the front, that back heel gets as much pressure into it as the front foot does. So don't shift your weight to the front, keep even on both. Again, for warrior, arms at shoulder level, spread your toes out. If you want to go deeper into warrior, you can keep your feet the further open. And again, we're going to start by treating one foot and then the other, making sure the hips and shoulders still face the side of your neck. Take a moment to breathe. Exhale, tension, spread your toes, bend that front knee right above your ankle, sink your hips straight down, not toward the front. Spreading your toes, keeping those arms at shoulder level. If you wanna make sure that that knee is over your ankle, turn and look at your big toe. You shouldn't be able to see the other toes. So make sure that you do see the big toe, but not the rest of them. Sink evenly into that back foot. Remember, you want that little toe side, heel side, as indeed we supporting you as the front. Take a moment there, or your two, and let's push again like we did in the triangle and pivot coming into the extended warrior. Arm up, flip down, or hand down toward your foot, and just stretch it out, head to the side. 
And if you love it and you like that chest opening, again, you can bring that hand down towards your bottom hip. And if you really want to challenge yourself, you can bring that hand through the middle of your leg and then clasp it and give yourself a little leverage to twist a little bit further toward the front. So this is called bound angle. So if you like it, you can do that. Otherwise, you can keep those arms straight across or just the top one coming down. Head still reaching to the side, weight into both feet evenly, remember. And don't forget to keep breathing. If you've clasped your hands, you can bring them back out and then lead your body back up into warrior two. So that front knee never moved. The whole body still in the same position as you start. And then straighten your knee and feet to the front, back into our star, just like in triangle. Go ahead, release your arms a moment as we get ready to balance and do the opposite side. So take a moment getting everything positioned where you want. If you want it wider so that front leg gets a little bit more into that open parallel to the floor position of the thigh bone, you can do that. But you don't need to just go where your body finds it comfortable. Again, make sure you keep both feet evenly sinking in. Arms at shoulder level. Stretch everything out in your star. And then turning your feet, one heel back, the other one turning all the way. So your whole leg, remember, turns your knee goes the same direction as your toes beneath those legs. And again, just bend that front knee coming down. So the further apart your legs are, the more the thigh leg, thigh muscle, thigh bone gets parallel to the foot. And again, you're in your warrior two, just getting the weight into both feet, spreading out through your toes, just sinking straight down a little bit more maybe as you get comfortable in your position. Take a few breaths there. You can check that front knee, make sure it's not leaning in or out, but straight above your ankle. And don't forget to breathe. Spread those toes, stay there, or push into that pivot. And again, as deeply as you like, stretch those hands apart and keep it there. Or if you like the bound angle, you can come with your hand to your lower hip, or you can bring the other hand inside and see if you can clasp. Shoulder into your leg and upper shoulder right above it. And look into the side and stretch in your head toward the end of the neck. Take a breath, sink evenly into both feet, even though you're way leaning forward, and don't forget to breathe. Spread those toes, make sure your weight is into the back foot also, and then releasing your arms, stretch it out as you pivot back up and into your skull, stretch out, and exhale into mountain pose. Take a moment as you get there. Just feel your spine. Exhale, relax any tension. Hands to your heart. And again, inhaling, let's go into our little back bend. And then swan dive forward. Pivot at your hips, drop and drag down. Slide the hands up under your knees. Do your halfway up stretch. Keep that chin slightly in, stretching your neck. And then bending your knees. Exhale all the way to your child pose. Transitioning to the floor. Exhale all the way down. <clears throat> Just relax. And the tension equals. And as you sit up on your heels, slide off your legs and bring them to the end of the mat into stacked position. Feet hip with apart, toes up, pushing out through your heels. Core, of course, activated and supporting your low back. Shoulders back and down and crown toward the ceiling. Just feel that, let those sitting bones support you. Exhale, when you 
But of course, we will launch for that. And can we try to find integration briefly? Move your head back and forth, just let it relax, shoulders down. Hands, palms down next to your sides. Sitting on slightly toward your heels as you bend your knees, bring your heels all right next to your sitting bones, knees straight up. So don't let them pop out or in. We'll just do a bridge before our twist. <clears throat> so take a moment, breathe. Rest your jet back gently down. And then lift your hip bones and come up. Keep those knees hip width apart. Don't let them separate. Stay on your shoulders and your head, not your neck. Spread your toes out and lift the hips. So get that core active as you're doing that. Make sure you're supporting your spine in the bridge. Take a moment to breathe, just lifting those sitting bones and hip bones toward the ceiling. Take a few breaths. Exhale any tension. Press evenly into your feet. Keep the shoulders supporting you. The arms really don't do anything in this version. Just keep those hips going up. Keep that core supporting the midsection. Take a breath. Relax in that position. Make sure those knees are still hip width apart. And then exhale from your shoulders, shoulder blades, ribs, and spine to the floor. Take a breath and bring your hands to two position. Stretch your legs straight out. And we'll do our twist. So go ahead and sit in on slightly toward your heel back down. Bring your right leg to the ceiling, either straight or you can bend it first and bring it up. Or of course, roll it over to the left side. Keep your head down as you roll over, your hands together in front of me, foot all the way to the floor. Hold your foot or leg, bring your hand toward the ceiling, right above your shoulder. Palm open, keep it open toward the ceiling as you roll the back of your hand behind you, shoulder level back to the floor or toward the floor. If it doesn't make it, don't worry, just let gravity do its work on your arm, letting that shoulder area open for your middle back chest. Take a breath, hold the foot away from you and push it out through that lower back twist if you love it, but remember, be gentle if that's necessary for your body. And always turn your head as much or as little as you need. Please. Take a breath. Just relax into it, exhaling. The more you exhale, the more those ligaments along your spine release. And gravity pulls your hand further toward the floor when it's ready. Let it happen. Don't force it. As always, just go as deeply into your twist as your body wants and needs today. Letting your body balance energy and muscles. And when you're ready to release, let go of your foot or leg, roll onto your back, flex the heel, use that core for support as you slowly roll away to the mat. And whenever it gets there, just relax in your T position, getting ready to, yeah, twist to the other side. So again, sitting bones toward your heels, back gently down, bring your left leg up. And you can stretch it toward the ceiling as much as it wants to go. Let's see your feet up. Take a moment to breathe as you exhale, roll to the right side. So the foot comes all the way down. Keep your head on the floor. Don't overwork your neck. And hold your foot or your leg, however it works for you. Keep that knee as straight as it's comfortable. And look up at your hand right above your shoulder. Left hand coming behind you. Back of the hand, right at shoulder level, so not down toward your foot or up toward your head, but straight back so that chest stays open in your twist. And as you get into it, as deeply as your body wants to go with gravity, just relax. The arm may be in the air, just let it hang there because gravity will pull it when your body is ready to move forward. 
Exhale, just relaxing, letting things release. And churning neck area, remember, be gentle if you need to there. And push your hand and foot away in the front if you like that low back, getting a little bit more intensity in your twist. Take a few breaths, just relaxing, exhaling, letting everything release and relax. And of course, when you're ready to release, you can let go of your later foot, roll onto your back, press the back gently down as you use your core for support to slowly lower the leg. And when it gets there, just go ahead and relax your whole body into corpse position for our final relaxation. Deep breaths in, exhale, let that hip area relax completely, legs releasing, shoulders sinking down into that surface beneath you, keeping that heart nice and open as you release any tension. Soften your face and your jaw. Move your neck over slightly, letting everything relax through that upper torso. And then just exhale, let your body sink, deepening into that earth support completely. And as you let your body go into the earth embrace, let the thoughts of your body release as well. As those thoughts release, know that other thoughts will come to you. It's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. And at this moment, there's no need to think of the past or anticipate the future. No need to remember any content of your thoughts. Just let them go, floating away without awareness. And just breathe more deeply, releasing fully through your body and your mind, deepening into that peace within, filling your body with peace and your mind with peace, and taking a few moments being peace. that you can keep relaxing today. Take your time. Do as much as you want to do. It's time to get ready for the rest of your day. So you can join energy and awareness with the breath back to the mind, to the room, to your head. And as you stretch more fully, breathe more deeply, move your body, know it is good for you today. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, Bring your sitting bones toward your heels, bring your knees toward your hips, bring your knees up toward your hip. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release that, bend your feet to the foot and yoga to the side and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.